Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today we're looking at how to swap beats two and four. They're all the rage these days, everybody's doing them. And it's cool because it plays with the harmony and melody of your track in quite an interesting way. And it can actually give you ideas for arrangement and stuff like that. And it's the exact type of thing that would be really easy to do in Reaper and very annoying to do in most other DAWs. We're gonna talk about a bunch of really cool scripts that you may have a use for, so keep watching. Or don't, I don't care. He does care. So first things first, let's grab a song. And I don't want my videos to get copyright claimed, so I'm actually gonna use one of my shitty songs. I don't write a lot in 4.4, this is a lot more easy to do in 4.4. But I have one song that I've recently written in 4.4, so let's grab that baby, put it on our timeline. Now the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your project tempo matches your track tempo and that it's on grid and in time. And I have a tutorial for this, so I'm just gonna blast through this part, but I'll put the link to that tutorial up there for you to check out in detail. I'm gonna put my time base to time on this track, hit apply, change my tempo to the song tempo, which is 85, and then just drag this bad boy to measure one. So let's just check somewhere random to see if the track is in time. All right, sounds good. <laughs> or I guess sounds on grid, whether it sounds good is subjective. So the next order of business is to change the grid size to quarter notes. Again, this is something I've shown in another tutorial, so I'll put the link to that up there, but I got a nice sub menu right here that I can click at any time and set my grid to quarter notes. So now we have grid lines on every quarter note. Here's our first useful action, split items at timeline grid. And I have a hotkey for this, but I'm just gonna run it from here, ship laps. And now the song is split into quarter notes. Very very cool. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this track and I'm gonna run this custom script. Select every nth item within time selection. You don't actually need the time selection for this. And this is a custom script by SPK77. So you can download this custom script via Repack. We've gone over this hundreds of times, but if you don't know how to do it, check the blog post for this episode and I'll have some instructions there. So with this track selected, I'm gonna run this script and I'll get this little window right here. If I hover my mouse over this first thing and move my mouse wheel, I can set it to select every fourth item. So now every fourth item on this track is selected. We first want to kind of mark beats two and four. Right now it's selected beat one of every measure. So again, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the offset value, move my mouse wheel a little bit, and now the offset is one, meaning every second of every fourth item is selected. So that's our beat two. While we're here, I'm going to group these items and I'm gonna give them a random color. One more time, I'm gonna just move this offset value to number three, you know, offset zero is beat one, offset one is beat two, and offset three is beat four. The same deal, I'm gonna group these items, give them a random color, maybe let's give them quite a different color. The next thing you need is to go to your top toolbar, right click on this little chain icon here, and make sure that selecting one item selects the group. While we're here, I'll show you also a really cool mouse modifier, and that is in preferences, mouse modifiers in the context of media item and left drag and I have control set to move item vertically. If I start moving my items, I can't move them left or right and thus I won't be able to make a mistake and screw this up. If you have snapping enabled, you're probably safe but I like to be extra safe and I like to give you extra tips. So now we got beat two of the song on this track. Let's now select beat four of each track and again, I'm gonna control and drag it down to this track and call that beat four. So we split our track by every quarter note. We took out beats two and four and group them and the rest is probably super easy and you can figure it out by yourself. Double click on any track and you will select all its items. We also have this enabled so we didn't really need to do that but just an extra tip for you. And I'm gonna move these bad boys to beat four. Double click on this track to select all its items and I'm gonna move these babies back to beat two. And then again, holding control, I'll move these up, I'll move these up and now I have swapped my beats two and four. Let's check it out. <laughs> That's it, seems to have worked. The only other things to watch out for is if you want, select your items and holding shift, just introduce a tiny bit of fade to them. And additionally, if your song has a tail that is less than one measure long, as I do here, you will have this rogue extra beat two there, which you can just kind of get rid of if you want. So I can just select this and get rid of it, or I can bring it back to beat two. If I want, I can also just glue this into one single item. Here's our song, beat 
Beats 2 and 4 swapped. So that's it for today. Thanks to EJV for the awesome suggestion. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you want to check out my music, I'll put some links in the description. This song hasn't been released yet, but it will be in September. I got other albums, then you can listen to them. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I make tutorials out of the most interesting ones, but I answer all of them. And if you like the work I do, please subscribe. If you really, really like the work I do, you can also donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link of that will be in the description. Join me tomorrow for another live stream on scripting. And otherwise, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.